what we want to do is we're going to make use of this panabis. Can you see that there? We've got two, can you see that there? We've got two tie-in holes. So I'm going to show you about the only time I can think of to lash a knife, a blade to a stick, okay? And let's see why, all right? Get my assistant to stand back there because... Um, Very comfortable in the hand. It's got a lot of weight. That's gonna snap in a minute, gotta be careful. I don't wanna hit the ground. Okay, that's gonna snap off and that's what we want. Oh, this thing works wonders. Now this is green wood, I gotta say. This is green wood. Okay, what we're going to do is we'll chop this off here. Okay, and this here. There's a lot of momentum here, so of course, Panabus, Panabus, Pangtangbus are uh, the different names. The Filipino, it, it basically transfers to uh, chopper. Uh, literally, and uh, while the original Panabus had a big long handle on there and slightly different on there, this is fairly reminiscent of, of course, a, a, a Filipino style uh, Panabus. It would have had a different front on there, but this curved section in here, and um, we'll look at this a bit later on with preparation of food. Uh, it's, I feel that will be great, especially for tropical type things. Uh, but anyway, yeah, and this is a this happens to be a tropical timber I'm cutting here, but as I said, this is, this is, uh, look at that, this is green. Look at that, no problems. We're making that off. And what we're going to do is, we are going to strap the knife to this. Now, I really don't advocate this. Can you see that there, in there, like that, right? So we're going to strap the knife onto this stick. So why am I going to do this? No, I am not, uh... I, I, I'm not going to do this because I feel I should be attacking somebody um, with the knife and a spear. That's absolute garbage. We're going to strap the knife on this because we're going to attempt to get some uh, fruit, which is out of reach. We can't climb the tree. We'll snap the tree branches off. I don't want to destroy the tree, let the tree uh, fruit up some more. But uh, what we need to, so we need to get a, a blade um, at long reach. And the way to do that is to strap it onto a stick. So first thing there is if you can see this I'm gonna just these handles these four print handles are a little bit flattish in profile here and that can aid that so I'm gonna you see that there can you see that right right I'm going to uh, simply flatten this off a bit to aid that let's see so we can tie that around now I'll make it a little bit flatter There, like that. Okay, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just put a notch about here just so that the rope can bind into that. All right, just cut a little notch in there, no problems. It's very, very sharp. So that means the rope will go around there. And we've got this other part here, and that should be enough on there, like that. So let's get tying. We're going to use some paracord. I've got lots of paracord. You can see here it's not in any fancy uh, survival bracelet thing because it's just too uh, lengthy to unravel. So actually it pays to have the paracord um, with an end, which is what we want to do is we want to make sure that we definitely lash it to the stick firmly, otherwise uh, if we don't, things going to fall off. Right, that should be enough on there. Okay. So, can you see that there? That gives enough. Right, okay, so what I've done, I've used these two holes here. 
in the handle to lash that to. The blade is partially resting up against here. We don't need much of a blade, just up on there. Uh, I've used the butt end of the knife here to lash into and uh, tie that down there. Don't really need, uh, I, I haven't cut any of the paracord because it's just not necessary to cut it. I'll just tie it in here again. It's not, it's just not necessary to do that um, for this purpose here. Okay, right, so that's pretty, that's, that's gonna be forcing the blade this way. So let's go and see how well this is gonna work. See if we can cut down that fruit. Okay, so there's some, there's some tropical fruit up there. Can't climb out on that branch, it's way too small. Uh, it's not gonna happen, I'm just gonna, you know, uh, basically break the branch off and fall out of the tree. So I'm gonna utilize this knife on the end of the stick. As I said, this is about the only time for food gathering that I can think of in the real world to lash a knife to a stick. So here we go, let's have a look at that. All right, so I've got the knife, here we go. See whether or not we can do this or not. Depends on, I guess, on how desperate one is to get some fruit. There they go. That's about almost it. Right, that's it. Let's see if we can get those fruit. Okay, so there you go. That's our bounty. There was uh, my assistant eating. Um, some more uh, over there, but there you go. That's a useful thing of being able to strap a knife to a branch to get a bit of a feed up, okay.